Let's discuss about an other autoimmune disorder called APS type 2, uh, which is autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 2. And this, can, uh, this condition is a polygenic condition, which means multiple generations will be affected. And the, it has a, it uh, got HLA association with HLA DR3 and DR4. And also, it is more commonly occurs in case of females. And the most common age group we, fi we find this condition is 20 to 60 years of age. And uh, uh, conditions associated with this APS type 2 are type 1 diabetes mellitus and Addison's disease and also autoimmune thyroid conditions. And uh, we know that autoimmune thyroid conditions include Graves disease and also Hashimoto thyroiditis. But in case of type 2, we often see Hashimoto thyroiditis is more common than that of the Graves disease. And whereas in case of APS type 1, Graves disease is more common that, uh, than that of the Hashimoto thyroiditis. And also other differentiating is that skin and nail changes will be seen in case of uh, APS type 1 whereas skin and nail changes are usually not seen in case of APS type 2. And the other thing is that this uh, APS type 2 is associated with other autoimmune disorders like type 1 diabetes mellitus and also Addison's disease. And uh, even some other conditions like uh, celiac disease, Parkinson's disease and these conditions are also associated with also uh, these conditions may also be seen in in patients with APS type 2 and uh, we, uh, even in case of uh, clinical which is like circulatory failure will be seen and acute hypotension and these severe conditions also will be included in case uh, can occur in case of uh, autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 2 and as already said it is a polygenic condition multiple generations can be affected and uh, this is also an autoimmune disorder to be noted and thank you for watching.